We've been uh, working on this for about three years now, off and on, and we want to be able to measure the flow rate of a Model A radiator without taking the radiator off of the car, and we think we figured that out. Uh, we do it with a pump and a timer and a, a, a rheostat for the pump. And uh, if you had a flow meter, it would be easier, but those are kind of pricey. So uh, I'm going to show you how we do it and write up the procedure and show you the equipment. And maybe your club can, can t tackle this also. Now we just finished our session on flow testing Model A radiators. And it was kind of a hectic session, and you'll see on the video. But we did uh, come away with a way to um, measure the flow rate of a radiator on a Model A. It's a little bit involved. Um, it's not as clean as I thought it would be. But you simply remove the upper hose, remove the lower two hoses, and then um, with a pump, you uh, pump water into the upper hose until the water bubbles out. That gives you a constant head for the flow through the radiator. And then you catch the water under the car in a bucket uh, and time um, for five seconds and then measure the water that you get out in five seconds. You can do it by weight as we did or volume, however you want to, but you'll have a run at five seconds and uh, have the flow rate. We did that on my car. It's the last, uh, the only car we ran today. And, uh, and I have a pretty good flowing radiator, 23.3. Now I've always thought it should be closer to 30, 30 or 35, but I'm changing my tune on that. Uh, the, we had a very good radiator that we know flows good. And we tested that on a stand and uh, it flowed uh, I think 25 gallons per minute so uh, a good radiator should flow above 20 uh, and if it's below 20 you better not drive more than 40 miles an hour or you'll start overheating but uh, I wanted to have a way of checking uh, a lot of model layers uh, their, their car overheats and they say they've got a good radiator with, when they don't and uh, you know they might have a head gasket or something but usually if a Model A overheats the radiator is plugged and to confirm that you can uh, run a flow test uh, a lot of owners use uh, all the band-aids the extension on the flow overflow tube the nail in it uh, running vinegar and uh, cutting down the water pump. That just makes your water pump smaller and it draws less of a low pressure in the head and that's directionally in the right direction but um, and it'll uh, increase the boiling point a tiny bit but I don't think that's significant. But a lot of people cut that impeller down. Now I've heard people say that the water pump pumps more than the radiator can handle. That's impossible. The water pump only pumps the water that it gets out of the radiator. So there's no way it can pump more. Uh, and besides, I think the maximum on a pump would, uh, if you had it free flowing, would still be, uh, would, would, uh, would still flow through the radiator without a problem, if it's a clear radiator. So we've got this uh, set up. We made a lot of mistakes, but uh, I think we came away with a way to check it. On our bench tests, um, I think our values are understated. That blue hose we use, we could not keep it round coming out of the radiator and it offered some restrictions. So I think our flow rates on the bench test jobs are, is a bit understated. So here's a, here's a video and hope you learn something from it and enjoy it. Okay, here's our setup to test just a radiator. We have a sump pump in here. It's just a sump pump. We're filling it with water now. And uh, 
We run the water up to the radiator. We let it bubble out of the top here, and that gives us a constant head on the radiator. And then we measure the flow from this into a bucket and uh, time, time it. And with the time and the weight of the water or the volume, we can determine gallons per minute. We'll do that in a minute. Okay, we get to... Uh, Got to get a full first. We're filling the radiator, putting enough water in just to bubble it out the top. There, now he'll... Wait, 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 you... Oh, I'm just getting ready. Okay. Okay, that looks like a good bubble, Dave. You call it. Oh! Did he stop fast enough? Yeah. What we did, we put the uh, bucket of water on the scale and, and weighed it, and we were, uh, here's our data. We're 20, 20.16, uh, 19.8, 19.6 is the three attempts we made at a 10 second flow. And that gave us, uh, it we're about 20.1 to 19.6 gallons per minute. So you gotta fill it. Get it bubbling right. It's bubbling right. Your, your, your call. Okay, here's the setup we have this year. It's different every time we try it. We're going to pump uh, the water into the upper uh, radiator inlet from our sump pump arrangement. And we're going to, we can't get this water to flow into our tank, so we're going to flow it uh, into this bucket and catch it and use that white one as overflow. So we'll see. My, the only worry is restriction in the blue line. If that's restricted, it'll throw our uh, number off. All right, we've changed our method. We're putting the water well, in the sink. you're ready, you can turn it on. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope, nope, hold nope. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, well, this one. <laughs> I don't think you want to now we're, yet. Now we're catching running. the water directly out of the, the uh, radiator. And we're only doing it for five seconds. Countdown. Now you got it. Do, uh, Can I count down? Yeah. Now? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, that last run was 23.3, so that's not bad, and we know we didn't have a restriction coming out of the core, so it's probably pretty accurate. Four, three, two, one, go. Two, three, four, five. Better off. Oh, we found one more radiator. These guys are going to run. We've got a good run on mine. And we know how to do it now. You just have to have a better reservoir of water because you oh. lose some the way we did it. But you catch it right out of the bottom of the radiator and you can get a good, good reading. We did it twice and we were dead on it. So they're hooking this up. And uh, that means we've got all the radiators that we know of. And they're flowing around 15 to 20. Good session. Okay, this one is. Tons of help from Dave and Tom and all the guys. And now, again, Roger, Roger, water boy. Well, next time we do this, we won't have Jim, Dave, and 
Tom and Al probably. Yeah, <laughs> Somebody else can do this. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for the session. That was great. We learned a little something. Kind of yeah. a comedy of errors, yeah, too. Yeah. Not to come back. We got a bunch of tired cowboys that'll never do this again. <laughs> Uh, if someone has a barbecue with some steaks, we'll think about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs>